a group of weekend warriors go into the woods to avoid the troubles of home life when they meet a group of sexy hikers out to do the same. And then Sasquatch. Pray for the Beast, everybody, written by Jeff O'Brien and directed by none other than Brett Kelly, who you might remember from Jurassic Shark, which was for three months in 2015, the lowest rated movie on IMDb. Here I was expecting some Troma-esque variant of Night of the Hunter, featuring Sasquatch killing a bunch of topless college girls with homemade special effects. But boy was I duped. Well, at least the effects were still there, sparingly. No, instead what I got was cheap bloom effects and a meandering plot about werewolf hunters and the normie campers who get caught up in all of it. Not to say the cast isn't likeable, because they are, and they do keep you invested in the story, amazingly. However, I guess it goes a long way to say about the powerful nature of preconceptions and how difficult it is to break away from them. The trailer and promotional art suggested something way more trashy than what I got, whilst still no class act. Pray for the Beast focused more on suspense than I was expecting. The cast chemistry is strong though and keep up the survival horror atmosphere by the script not making them look too stupid and the acting being perfect for this kind of film, if I'm totally honest. But we have truly left the appreciation station here as Prey for the Beast is overall a poorly shot, near gore free woodland creature feature you never knew you never wanted. The half decent script and acting is all you have to keep your engagement. Production value wise, this is a severely impoverished experience. Apart from the werewolf, or whatever the fuck it was, seriously though, that shit was really amazing practical effects, considering it's a Brett Kelly production. In conclusion, Pray for the Beast is another shoddy effort from Brett Kelly in a filmography which seems to be littered with them. A half assed story was there, but not much else. I quiz well predict this film will be forever condemned to obscurity. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is The Erotic Witch Project.